Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. So Justine and I, um, we worked quite closely together for COP22 on a, a movement called Earth to Marrakesh. Um, the movement was a, a follow-on to the Earth to Paris movement that happened in 2015 in the lead-up to COP21, of which the result was obviously the Paris Agreement. So. Justine, could you just give us a quick overview of Earth to Marrakesh? What, sure. what brought us to coming all together and, and why it was so important to bring that message to COP22? Sure. Of course. Thanks, Max. Thank you to Connect for Climate and the World Bank for hosting us here. Um, as you said, Earth to Marrakesh was a global climate movement that was born out of Earth to Paris, which was created around COP21 and the adoption of the Paris Agreement. We saw it as an opportunity for us to bring together unusual um, an unusual group of um, media organizations, businesses, and civil society groups, um, as we say, a bunch of strange bedfellows uh, coming together united around their um, idea that we needed to push for the most ambitious climate agreement possible. So we had over 100 um, organizations, uh, including uh, Vogue, National Geographic, Mashable, Good, uh, the City of Paris, and more. Uh, we came together um, through a big uh, digital surge which lasted about six weeks and culminated in Paris, in, down, in downtown Paris, uh, at the Petit Palais where we hosted an all-day conversation with um, uh, global luminaries on climate change including Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, um, Se uh, Secretary of State John Kerry, uh, Adrian Grenier, actor and activist, and lots of others, um, to really put a, put a global focus on this issue, um, bringing together uh, groups that maybe weren't otherwise talking about climate change. Uh, Vogue had, done a, had recently done a feature on the 13 female climate warriors, and we saw that as a great opportunity to bring them in as a unique voice. We had Kylie Jenner, I think, tweeting about Rachel Kite, so it was definitely a um, uh, watching worlds collide, so that was very exciting. Um, so, you know, that was last year, but we saw, uh, as COP22 was coming around the pike, we saw it as an opportunity and our responsibility to really keep the focus, uh, a global focus on climate change. So we brought together, we brought um, those partners back, added in some important new ones, including regional voices um, and youth voices for Earth to Marrakesh. Earth to Marrakesh had uh, over 105 partners with a combined social reach of more than 285 million individuals worldwide. Um, we had a, another major um, digital activation, and this time really focused on keeping the momentum going. You know, obviously there was a huge, uh, there was a huge focus on Paris because it, it was the birth of an agreement. It's a lot harder to go from, from the birth of an agreement to actually getting to the work and try to keep a lot of interest there. Um, people tend to tune out. So, you know, we saw it as more important than ever to bring these organizations together. Um, so we created tons of content. We had over a hundred pieces of video, op-eds, articles, um, infographics, all kinds of things. Um, we leveraged uh, major influencers like Leo DiCaprio, UNICEF, the elders, um, to help convey this message, uh, both uh, in person at COP22 and uh, online and all over the world. Absolutely. It, it was really exciting and, and it was really great to be a, a part of that movement and to spread that you know, transition from a call to action to a showcase of solutions that you know, the world really is coming together and, and implementing the climate solutions that we need uh, to tr transition to that low carbon uh, resilient future. Exactly. It was, it was really inspiring to uh, go to Marrakesh and be at the Green Zone and, and watch what was essentially a trade show, um, an expo of um, inspiring, you know, creative, innovative climate solutions, which is really all that Earth to Marrakesh was about. Um, you know, COP21 and Earth to Paris was all about commitments. Now, we've made the commitments, but arguably the real work starts now as we move to implementation um, and taking action on those commitments made. Um, as many note, and as you'll see in the video to come shortly, 
um, the Paris Agreement is great, but <clears throat> many scientists show that um, as it currently stands, the commitments won't keep us below two degrees of warming. So we have some real work ahead of us to urge nations to meet and exceed the commitments that they made in Paris last year. Um, we saw that as the responsibility of Earth to Marrakesh, and we see it as our responsibility going forward. Um, Earth 2 is a, a global climate movement that will be um, expanding you know, over the years and bringing to cities all over the world, we hope, certainly around COP, but potentially around other opportunities as well. Ab absolutely, and, and we look forward to partnering with you on that. Thank you so um, much. So maybe some of the highlights coming out of the COP, wh wh what were the overall <laughs> like social media reaches and, and who, how many people actually took part in this conversation? Sure. Yeah, so um, we had over 925 million impressions worldwide. Um, uh, the conversation was uh, was held over a hundred countries, um, over a hundred million people reached. You know, I can throw lots of big stats at you, but um, I think ultimately the point is we brought the conversation to new and interested audiences. Um, as I said, you know, key influencers joined the global conversation, like Leo DiCaprio, um, the elders, UNICEF, UNDP, Connect for Climate, World Bank. Um, we brought in you know, some, some groups that were already talking about climate and, and some groups for whom um, their audiences were uh, you know, not necessarily making the connection. So that was really important to us, for us to show if you care about children, you care about climate. If you care about poverty, you care about climate. We, you know, we really look to bring different, diverse organizations together, united around the idea that um, if we want to meet our sustainable development goals, we've we've got to address climate change. So, um, in that sense, you know, I think we really helped to um, bring that message to a global audience. Mm -hmm. um, we used some interesting spokespeople like uh, Jack Black and the celebrity cat sensation Lil Bub, uh, both in Earth to Paris and, and in the Earth to Marrakesh video that you'll see shortly. But uh, we, you know, we try to keep a very fresh dynamic, optimistic feel about this, you know, doom and gloom doesn't work, it does, people don't, they tune out, right, they don't want to hear that this is just a problem, we need to show that climate action is an opportunity, this is a chance for economies to, to evolve and, and, and stay fresh and always stay on the cutting edge of the, the hottest new thing, we've got to get youth involved because, you know, as, so, as the youth were telling us in, in, in their panel on stage in Marrakesh, you know, the future isn't you know, this isn't about the future, the future is now. This is about us living, you know, making decisions today that will decide uh, the lives of ne this generation and generations to come. So, you know, we really wanted to keep that, that focus on it, keep it honed and, and fresh and, and really keep conveying that message, um, you know, broadcasting it out from, from Marrakesh, because we knew, we, you know, we knew that um, not everybody can make it to COP22, so we wanted to bring the earth to Marrakesh and bring the messages of Marrakesh out to the, the earth as well. Um, so on the youth message, I just wanted to throw this out there. So when we landed on the moon, how old do you think the average age was in the control room of the mission that got us to the moon? The average age of the people in the control room. So the average age was uh, 26. So that just shows you that young people are absolutely incremental and, and important for any global transition to a new frontier. And that's why we wanted to celebrate you guys and have you part of the, the digital media zone here today. Um, so, so we've got incredible content that, that was captured under Earth to Marrakesh. I encourage you to go check out the website, earthtomarrakesh.org, or it's earth2.org. Um, you can also find it uh, documented through our partners, such as uh, Facebook, Mashable, Good, UN Foundation. We've put up a bunch of content. And um, let's, let's see the anthem. Let's see the video. Yeah, so now we'll go ahead and air the video. This um, reunites Jack Black and Lil Bub after their video kicking off Earth to Paris, where they um, urged individuals all over the world to join their voices in, uh, in a call uh, to send a message for ambitious climate action from Earth to Paris. OK, and if you can't see the screen, I would encourage you just to move seats uh, over onto this side, because we're showing it up on the micro tile. Um, so, so yeah, just from that video, we can see that you know, using creativity, using humor, using influence, uh, we can really spread that message to a broad audience. And, and the power of partnerships is really, really key to this.
Yeah, I think um, now more than ever we recognize that, uh, you know, if we're going to send this message, if we're going to solve this issue, we've got to join our voices together. So that's what Earth to Paris was all about. That's what Earth to Marrakesh is all about. As you said, you know, kind of a fun, cheeky take on it, but you're still ultimately trying to convey the points that um, we've come a long way, but there's still so much more to do. You know, we, uh, it's time to celebrate, but we've also got to roll up our sleeves and get down to work. So um, we hope you'll join us. Uh, you know, or as uh, Max said, visit earth2.org. Um, we'll be scaling this up and bringing this movement all over the world. But uh, thank you for letting us discuss it here today. No, thank you. And, and this is really an exciting time because we are transitioning to that low carbon future. And there's so many people involved. Every business out there is, is making a plan. Every city has got a low carbon tra transition uh, proposal. Every country has put forward their NDCs, their climate action plans to the UNFCCC process. And yeah, finally, young people are at the heart of it. So let's, let's keep on acting and implementing those solutions. Exactly. Thank you so much. Thank you.